What does the North River property purchased by the city of Fort Wayne have in common with semi-regular scrap metal fires at Metal X in Waterloo, Indiana? Whoa, AM. Headline, Crews Respond to Fire at Metal X. Cause Unknown by Caleb Hatch, Monday, December 4th, 2017. Investigators are still looking into the cause of a blaze at the Metal X facility in Waterloo. Metal X is located just east of I-69 and south of the Waterloo exit. Flames were reported at the facility around noon Monday. The fire was found coming from a pile of scrap metal near a shredder. The New Sentinel headline, North River deal was done on faith. Now it's taxpayers turn to pray by Kevin Leininger, Saturday, December 2nd, 2017. Mayor Tom Henry, five members of the city council and owners of the so-called North River property agreed to spend $4.63 million of taxpayers' money now and who knows how much later while denying the public and even themselves the information needed to make a fully informed decision. In addition to paying about $1 million above the appraised value and agreeing to indemnify the owners for all obligations related to contamination, a confidentiality agreement prevented the administration from sharing the 2007 assessment with members of council until after their vote. Glenn Hines, the Democrat representing the 6th District of Fort Wayne, called it the worst negotiated deal ever presented for council's approval. New Sentinel writer Kevin Leininger says, I don't blame members of the Rifkin family, former owners of Omnisource, for protecting their interest and negotiating the best deal possible. When Kevin Leininger says he doesn't blame the Rifkin family for protecting their interest and negotiating the best deal possible, it makes me think about candidate Donald Trump in Fort Wayne, Indiana, talking about America's trade imbalance with China when he says, we can't continue to allow China to rape our country. Then President Trump travels to China to say, I don't blame China. Who can blame a country for being able to take advantage of another country for the benefit of its citizens? I give China great credit. I don't blame members of the Rifkin family, former owners of Omnisource, for protecting their interests and negotiating the best deal possible. Kevin Leininger, New Sentinel. Regarding the so-called North River property, the Journal Gazette says the land owned by Calhoun Investments LLC of Fort Wayne, whose president is Daniel Rifkin, was put up for sale for $6 million in 2016. Inside Indiana Business says, the city says the property was previously used as a rail yard and scrap yard dating back to the early 1900s. It has sat dormant since 2006. The scrap yard was Omnisource, formerly known as Superior Iron and Metal. Omnisource says in 1943, when the war effort made recycling a national priority, Irving Rifkin, and Irving Walters bought their first scrap yard on Clinton Street in Fort Wayne, Indiana. They called their new venture Superior Iron and Metal. Rifkin's son Leonard joined the company in 1956. With Leonard's expertise and his ability to create strategic relationships with customers and banks alike, the company weathered some tough times in the early 1960s. In 1983, the company was officially renamed Omnisource. Omnisource played an important role in the birth of steel dynamics in the early 1990s. FortWayne.com Leonard I. Rifkin was a founding director of Tower Bank and also served as a founding father and strategic partner of Steel Dynamics, serving on its board of directors from 1993 to 2003. SDI became Omnisource's parent company in 2007. In October 2007, Steel Dynamics Inc. bought Omnisource Corporation from the Rifkin family for approximately $1.1 billion, including cash, stock, and the assumption of debt. Leonard I. Rifkin, 76, who shaped Omnisource Corporation into one of the largest scrap metal recycling companies in North America, died Thursday afternoon, February 28th, 2008 in Palm Beach, Florida. Daniel M. Rifkin is Leonard Rifkin's son. North River Capital is a Fort Wayne-based private equity investment firm founded by Daniel Rifkin. North River Capital says Danny began his career with Omnisource Corporation in 1977. His last position was president and CEO and as a member of the board of directors. 
After the sale of Omnisource to Steel Dynamics Inc. in 2007, Danny was named Executive Vice President of SDI and President and Chief Operating Officer of the Metals Recycling Segment. Danny left Steel Dynamics in 2008 to pursue the formation of North River Capital LLC and other interests. Danny is also the founder, president, and CEO of Metal X LLC, a growing scrap processing and trading company. Wayne TV reports Metal X is a scrap metal recycling operation that started in 2012. March 11, 2013, Recycling Today, headline, back in the fray. The Rifkin family re-enters the scrap recycling business, opening Indiana-based Metal X. Danny Rifkin says Metal X is taking a different approach to its shredder operation. We have designed and are constructing a shredding system that will be a bit different than other shredder systems. Further, Danny Rifkin says Metal X expects to do custom shredding for certain customers, which allows for the cooperative development of proprietary shredded products, some of which may not be typical of the scrap industry. We're looking at the opportunity to get into the niche shredding business rather than trying to simply blast as much volume through a machine as possible, he says. We are not putting in a shredder simply to be a shredder, but rather to add value for customers and enhance the Metal X bottom line. We are a scrap business, not a shredder company, Danny Rifkin continues, and we should only be shredding if we're adding value in the process. That's Metal X, people, shredding metal since 2012. Let's get back to December 4th, 2017. Wayne TV, headline, flames, smoke rise from Waterloo Recycling Facility. At about 2.15 p.m., Metal X issued a news release indicating the fire started at around noon in a pile of scrap metal near a shredder and that the fire appears to be under control. The December 4th fire isn't the only scrap metal fire at Metal X in 2017. Wayne TV, August 26, 2017. Headline, Fire crews douse flames, smoke at Metal X. Firefighters were called to Metal X in Waterloo Saturday evening after a pile of scrap caught fire. A 2013 fire in a scrap pile started near a shredder. In August, Metal X tells Wayne TV the fire was just the second since it opened in 2012. While any fire is one too many, this is only the second such incident since the facility opened in 2012, said Metal X Vice President of Operation Clyde Phillips in a news release. Well, Clyde, as of December 4th, 2017, there have only been three scrap metal fires at Metal X in Waterloo. Whoa, Whoa AM and Metal X say the December 4 Metal X fire was found coming from a pile of scrap metal near a shredder. Wayne TV reports the 2013 Metal X fire in a scrap pile started near a shredder. I don't know what scrap metal fires have to do with shredding systems, but I do know this. Daniel Rifkin is the president of Metal X. Daniel Rifkin is the president of Calhoun Investments. Calhoun Investments sold the North River property to the city of Fort Wayne. The North River property is the old Superior Iron and Metal, aka Omnisource, location on Clinton Street. Daniel Rifkin served as Omnisource President and CEO. Daniel Rifkin connects Metal X scrap metal fires in Waterloo to the North River property purchased by the city of Fort Wayne. I don't know what scrap metal fires have to do with shredder systems.